paper and pencil. That's how we were drawing and designing until now. It's another world now, isn't it? Six years ago, a young Hungarian inventor opened space. He guessed how to transform a simple desk computer into a 3D version, cheaply and simply. At that moment, he wouldn't believe he started a new era with his invention for sciences like archaeology or brain research. But the beginning, as is customary, proved to be difficult. The first time I, I had the dream to make a, a virtual reality system, it's, uh, I remember that I, I wanted to, to draw to the space. And it was in, in the kindergarten that I remember that my brother already could draw a house on a paper, that it seemed like it, it would be 3D. Of course, it's because of the perspective. Uh, but, uh, but I remember that I also tried to draw this on a paper, and I, I or tried to push the, the pen so hard that I made a hole on the paper, or I just grabbed my, my hand and I, and I started to draw into the space. But, but you know, at, the, at that time I was thinking that why this ink cannot draw into the space? How could I solve this? It, why, why is this impossible? Danny pieced together the first Leonardo from straws, Christmas tree bulbs and fence wire. To tell the truth, it's not similar to the original one, either outside or inside. But the essence hasn't changed. So this environment makes a full platform and we also opened this platform so anyone can develop any kind of applications for, uh, for that. And, and, uh, and hopefully this will make a very huge uh, change in, in the world's uh, uh, information technology. The inventor says the use of Leonardo is quite simple. Even a child of 10 can easily connect it to a computer. The invention consists of four main elements. Software, a spatial mouse, 3D eyeglasses, and sensors. Let's see how it all works. You can establish any form, figure or space with Leonardo. Simple and even sophisticated animations can also be created. Everything is left to the imagination in this virtual world. A simple computer can be used in three dimensions using the spatial mouse. For example, the bird. Looking at the display with naked eyes, this is what we see. And this is what we see using the eyeglasses. We almost become part of the virtual world. So how did it get the name Leonardo? My father was an, an idea that uh, what if it would have a name of uh, Leonardo and with my brother, oh no, it's everyone says that it's, it's every product has this name, well, it's, 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 it's a very bad idea and, uh, and I don't know, someone have the idea that put a, a number three before the, the letter D and, uh, and yeah, well, that's okay, that's cool right now, so and, and after that this is how the, the, the name uh, we get and, and it works pretty well. Daniel, 25, returned with six first prizes from the Under-21 World Scientists' Cup in the United States a couple of years ago. The invention has garnered some other international awards since then. The device has even been tried out by Prince Charles when he last visited Hungary. An unequivocal advantage of LEO is that it has remained simple despite its revolutionary novelty and doesn't require special skills in informatics. The Leonardo is intended not only for companies but also for home users. It can also be applied to various professions and education. <laughs> 